Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooks Beauty Bazaar. I hope you guys are all doing really well. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite fungal acne friendly body washes so that you guys can have a better time navigating the rest of your showering process. Let's go ahead and get right into this. All right, so I have three things that I wanted to share with you guys today. I have been using all of these pretty regularly for the last year. Some of them I just recently got my hands on like this um, summer, but the rest of them I've been using since I found out that I was suffering from fungal acne, and I'm gonna go ahead and share those with you right now. So the first product that I wanted to mention to you guys is the Suave Essentials Pampering Body Wash. Now, pampering is, the keyword on this one, I don't think that they all are necessarily pampering. It's specifically the Suave Essentials line, so not every single Suave product is going to be fungal acne safe, but I'll list out the ones, the scents that I know to be fungal acne safe um, above the link that I provide in the down bar for you guys. My favorite scent is actually the Agave Mash one, but they never have it. They're always sold out. I hope they didn't discontinue it because it's like the best scent. I always get so many compliments when I've showered with that. However, I am currently using the Sweet Pea and Violet Body Wash. So this product is going to feel a lot like your traditional body wash. It's kind of got that gel consistency to it. It's, you know, colorful and it just smells absolutely incredible. Pretty much every scent I can't really complain about. I love all of them. And I would say that if you're somebody who loves like Bath and Body Works or something like that, or you used like a specialty brand that had specialty scents to them before discovering you had fungal acne, then this is going to be your go-to. The one con about this product is that it is not extremely moisturizing. And then the second con could be the fragrance factor, just because some people are so sensitive to fragrances added to products. So my recommendation for this is that it's going to be more for your summer months, just when your skin isn't so dry. Um, and when your skin can kind of handle that because it's getting a lot more like sweat and dirt and build up on it. This is kind of more of like one of those very clarifying feeling type of body wash products. This is a very widely available product. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at Target, Walmart. All the drugstores pretty much have this product. It is around like two to three dollars depending on where you get it. So it's very, very affordable option as well. And I will tell you guys, this is the first product that I ever tried as a fungal acne safe wash. And I have kept it in my rotation ever since trying it. So the next product that I wanted to share with you guys is one that I actually just started using myself earlier this year, maybe in the like spring, summer, um, probably March or something like that. But it is Lady Parts Wash, guys. <laughs> and I know that that carries a lot, a lot of stigma around it, but it's the Summer's Eve Cleansing Wash. This one is the fragrance-free version. I'm pretty sure some of the fragrance ones are also fungal acne safe, but I just happen to pick up fragrance-free whenever I can because I usually don't use, you know, this every day. I like to add perfume after my shower and all of that. So if you're more of a fragrance-free person, this is going to be for you. This one is also really good because it's more of a pH balance type product and it's meant to be a very gentle product because it's meant for your most delicate areas of your body. Therefore, I feel like this one is not extremely moisturizing, but it's definitely not nearly as stripping as this suave can tend to be. So if you're in the market for something that's kind of more just medium, balanced, all around everyday body wash, I would say this is a really, really good option. I don't really have anything bad to say about this one. I just think it really works well with everything. As soon as you get out of the shower, it's always a good idea to just go ahead and lotion up your body so that you moisturize. And that kind of takes care of any like drying effect that either of these products may have on your skin. Um, at least that's my experience. So if that's your issue, then just do that and you should be good to go. This product price range is around, I would say, more of the like $4 to $7 mark, depending on where you get it from. Link this below, and I will also put above the link all of the scents that are fungal acne safe so that you guys know if you want to try a scented one, then you can. All right, you guys, the last product that I have to share with you, but simply not the least, is the Aveeno Baby Cleansing Therapy Moisturizing Wash. It's a mouthful to say this product. Um, you may recognize this product from the video that I did cleaning my makeup brushes, so makeup brush cleaning hack. I'm going to link it so that you guys can watch it right now if you want to. I use this to clean my makeup brushes, and I also use this as a body wash in my shower pretty regularly. 
This one is formulated for those who actually do have more sensitive skin, so it's also accepted by the National Eczema Association as a safe product. So if you're suffering from eczema and rashes on your body, this may be a really good option for you. While these ones are not going to cause rashes necessarily, um, they won't be as like nourishing to the skin, so that's why I really wanted to include this one. This is the most nourishing and moisturizing of all of the fungal acne washes that I currently am using, and so I keep it in my rotation for that reason. It is also fragrance-free, um, all that good stuff. The only real negative to this product is that it is a lot more expensive. With these products, you get 15 fluid ounces. Let's see. Yeah, both of these bottles are 15 fluid ounces for a pretty like low price. This one is only eight fluid ounces, and it's gonna be more in your $10 price range. I will say, I have a lot of like major retailers in my area, and it was really hard for me to find this in a store. I finally found it at Target one time, but then I've been back since to look for it, and I haven't seen it, so then I had to get it on Amazon. So I will provide a link to it on Amazon below for you guys, but do check your Targets if you're at Target one day. Um, check your Walmarts, I've never seen it there, but Target usually does carry things like this so check that out in the baby aisle for this one in the feminine care aisle for this one and in the regular body wash aisle for this one so you've got a lot of ground to cover if you want to get your hands on some of these products that is pretty much everything that I have to share with you about these products again these are all really reasonable and really great products I would say this is more of your summer bath and body works kind of a person this is more of your like everyday cleanser and this is one that you want to make sure you have if you're suffering from drier skin and especially in the winter this is like my standard go-to all right you guys so if you did enjoy this video be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me because that really helps me out and while you're down there if you also love fashion beauty pop culture and all the shiny things you should press the subscribe button and turn on post notifications because then it'll tell you when I upload a new video. I'm still gonna continue to talk about fungal acne as well as sharing my cosmetology school journey and then maybe get into some other things very soon. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for that and join me along the way. All right, you guys, I don't have anything else to talk to you about. I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, bye.